it, it's a year-round process. We've got about getting on for 80 events over the, the, the weekend. Hi, I'm John Quayle. Um, I'm the chairman of the Jazz Festival. Uh, for my sins, I get to keep the meetings in order and, uh, and, see the, and see the business is sorted as part of the process of organising the festival during the year. We've got all sorts of licences to get in order to uh, make it possible for the, the council to allow us to do this. And we've got a committee which, is, uh, which is, is busy and everybody's got different roles to play in the committee as, as well as the people like Barney. My name is Barney Stevenson, I'm the festival producer, um, largely responsible for programming the festival, booking all the bands and all the logistics. There are 24 venues in the Jazz Festival this year. A lot of them are community venues and their local pubs and clubs. And so the, the, it's a very important relationship we have with them. And waste it all, fixing all the problems that you made in your own head. But it was not your fault but mine And it was your heart on the line I really mucked it up this time Didn't I, my dear? Didn't I, my You have seen this all before. I'm a little lion man, you'll never settle any of your score. Your grace is wasted in your face, your boldness stands alone among the I am Kate Button and I've been involved in the festival since it started in 1992. I was part of the Marsden Community Association and Mike Lucas, um, who then was the uh, founder member of Micron, also decided that we needed to really maximise the use of this building and it would be great to have a festival. When it first started, it was just a tiny community festival, basically, and, uh, and like the, the other things that happen around the village, uh, like cooking day and things like that but as time went by more people came the village got quite full people couldn't go shopping when they usually went shopping and, and, and it was and the quite a lot of people were saying they've got this festival foisted on them but then it changed again because it became apparent that actually it was economically very good for the, for the village. Places were beginning to sort of uh, find it very difficult financially and that the early 1990s were quite hard for small places like Marsden. So having um, the Jazz Festival meant not only could we have gigs within the mechanics but we could also have them in the pubs and clubs. And as you know in Marsden there are lots of pubs and clubs. You know, there's lots of extra things going on. There's food stores and some people having barbecues, what not selling burgers and things because there is a market for it because there are so many people out and about there's money to be made in Marsden this weekend yeah I, I, I would say that the economic contribution is very substantial it's it's upwards of 300,000 pounds coming comes into the local economy because of the festival and that's just the weekend <laughs> I'm Alistair Hansen, I'm the uh, owner of Hansen Musical Instruments. Um, we've been based in Marsden since 2004 
and the Jazz Festival has been a really great event for us to come to every year. My name is Lucy Hansen and I'm six years old and today I am running a cake shop. For local businesses it's, it's a really fantastic event because it gets people into the village who are going to come back again and again and again. So now it's well received, I, I, don't, I don't hear much grumbling at all, although there are still people who want to drive their car down Beale Street when, 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 when they want to do their shopping and, and it's a bit difficult, you know, that's it. But, but no, I think, I think we're well, re well received and pretty well liked now. Hi, my name is the, uh, the Jazz Fox. I've been out here throughout the year, basically, and then I come out for the Jazz Festival. It's only three days a year. Jazz Fox tends to come out on a Saturday because the gigs are pretty big. Um, there's, there's stuff going on throughout the day non-stop. Even right now, it's like half, half one, and I've already been to about four gigs already. Got myself some soup, some chowder, some gumbo exactly what the Jazz Fox needs. We've got lots of local talent um, and so not only did we have bands from uh, far and wide but also our homegrown local talent. Uh, so we have lots of school bands and we have lots of brass bands and jazz bands and all sorts of different people coming to play. We've got a, a good day out for, for local people. They don't. They want to come around and see the stalls. They listen to a little music in the street. That's fine. We've got people who like to go to the pubs and clubs and get a few gigs in and have a drink and meet their mates. And then we have ticketed gigs. But all, the whole thing works together to make a particular festival buzz. Because ours is a festival. It's not just a series of concerts in in the hall here. I think some of the highlights of the Jazz Fest over the three years is definitely got to be um, Shabaka Hutchins and, and uh, Sons of Kemet. Extracurricular they've played, they've been amazing. We've got Aria Astrobe last year, um, got me up on stage, the Jazz Fox, and then I got I busted out some moves and then the whole crowd doing it in unison it was absolutely amazing. Our hopes for the festival are, are, are limited by, uh, you know, the wish to keep it as a Marsden festival. It's a difficult time, you know, with, with government bringing in austerity measures and so on. So one of the things that worries us every year is, is the, the funding of the festival, because we do rely on some public funding from Gerkley's Council. We get supported by the Arts Council, which is another public body. And we're having to look, look at where, whether we can raise money from other, other things, more commercial sponsorship, foundations and so on. We've got a lot of support behind us um, and people would be, you know, really miss the festival if it stops. We, we, we've got to make it fresh each time. There's got to be new stuff. We want to commission stuff. We'd like to have, we'd like to have uh, foreign artists come into it. We have had them in the past, but you know, to, to make it to, to, so that we get a, 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 the world coming to Marsden, if you like, and uh, that, that's the kind of thing that, that we have in mind. <laughs> I'm, I'm always super, super excited about the Jazz Festival, definitely. Um, I'm even trying to basically bring my posse of animal friends this year. It was about 25 of us expected um, around about 6, 7 o'clock. And then we hope that we'll be on the Jazz team next year to uh, replace the sheep's face with this bad boy. There's always lots and lots of good people playing good gigs, free gigs, which is 
you know, really good at getting people in, drawing the crowds together. We're never, go we're never gonna be uh, New York, we're never gonna be London, you know? so we just have to be Marsden and make, and, you know, and, and, and celebrate it. That's really what it's about.